All right, so before we start any actual matches, I got three million in currency to unlock the Eliza and a few other things. So I'm more interested in the character customization because I want to see what these characters look like um, in a some of this attire. Now I did check out Lee's and like Leo's and a few, uh, you know, a, a couple characters, but um, I'm interested in seeing what other people look like with this stuff and what, what and everything they have available. So we're just gonna run through freaking customizations they have for these characters. Because I know they're gonna you always got that one person online that's trying to make the character look as dumb as possible. Um so let's just go through the, the list. Let's got up as a list as I stated before I can't wait till they had this girl self-destruct and just like no longer is a uh, priority in this game. And when the hell? Okay, never mind. I ain't gonna even speak on what I just seen there. They gave her robot ears for customization. I'm pretty sure that they gotta have like some type of generic uh, customizations for. Some of this stuff just obviously they didn't make this for everybody. Even though everybody can wear it, it just don't look right. Oh, won't you look at that? Roger still made the game, even though he got cut from the main roster. They still put him in there. Yeah, but be careful though. I'm pretty sure somebody gonna still complain about that and have it removed. This is another thing while I'm on that. How in the hell did animal rights activists quote unquote? get Roger removed from the game. He was originally in this game but took him out because, you know, the animal rights whatever was complaining about, you know, animal being in the game and shit. Now, those people don't even play this damn game. So how did, you know what, never mind, bro. Never mind. Let's just continue. I just wear super junior haircuts, man. Yo, if you pay attention to, like, they're like uh like Korean pop music and like uh and Japanese pop music those groups that they be having those like all male groups that they be having like those boy groups look, they always have the same haircut bro it needs the same haircuts those dudes be having they be looking like Final Fantasy characters oh and I swear if, if you pay attention to all of them all, they, they all rock the same hairstyle it's like they already got the hairstyle set up and like okay this person over here is going to wear this hairstyle. This one going to wear this hairstyle. This one going to wear this. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of them look like that. A knight's helmet. A steampunk bird mask on. That's the bubonic plague. Don't even... A bubonic plague mask. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know how... To... Oh, y'all might actually get that. For another character. I ain't getting for Alyssa. Fuck her life. Ponytail. Oh, wait a minute. You gotta get a ponytail in order to. Oh, you gotta buy that. I'm not doing that for that. For the sake of this, that's a waste of money. So, all these are bogus. I mean, all these are out. So, wait a minute. I might get this too. Nah, because this might end up being annoying. I don't want to distract myself. What in the world does the fish do? But this is a special effect when your opponent lands. Oh, so the jingle blocks keep getting knocked down. So, so the more you can hit, like the jingle blocks get knocked down every hit. Lantern, glasses. I ain't gonna lie, like these actually fit her. Somebody gonna wear that too. This makeup is hella scary. I'm not even gonna front. They got this and they got a regular outfit too. 
That's a regular outfit top, okay. And then they got what I'm assuming to be like all the... Uh... Hey, they go to t-shirt. Bullet Club. Four, 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 life. Okay. Her regular, her original, um, her original bottom. Oh wow, that's Julius. So even though they don't have that actual character, I'm assuming you can make Julia. Oh, you can have somebody dressed up as, as Julia, like cosplay or something. DLC content later on down the line. Um, Adult Bunny, what is this? I think this comes from an anime. If I'm not mistaken, I think this comes from an anime. That's like an ultimate costume. I'm pretty sure everybody got like these little doll outfits. Oh wow, look at this. Let's go Asuka and let's see what she got. See what she look like. I'm trying to take a look at all the like, all like their regular uh or rather their original customization. I'm not trying to look at like the generic uh, stuff like this. So she pretty much doesn't have anything. Pretty much all the basic customization that every character gets. That's what she got. You can probably make like a fake Sakura or like have her like kind of dress up as a uh, Sakura from Street Fighter because of that headband. Kind of thinking that maybe you can like kind of pull it off. If they have like a schoolgirl top, then yeah, you can pull it off. None of these look right on her. Oh, they are a rainbow. Ain't got nothing here. This is a special effect when hit. Oh, wow. So you punch him and you serve cake. If only I had that right now. Oh wow. Alright, so when you're in the rage mode, uh, that's good. to what that does. Glasses don't nobody really care about that. That's original form unless somebody else have it. That's kind of scary. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Original outfit right there. Uh, let me start getting to the regular stuff. Okay, I gotta say, not everybody looks good in that bullet club t-shirt. Oh yeah, this right here gotta be earned. Like you can't just wear that gold. Like the standard has to be set that if you got on a gold outfit and you the like you the man. I'm really starting to wonder how many female characters gonna have this online. I'm pretty sure damn near all of them. Yeah, yeah, you could probably 
probably get away with like a schoolgirl outfit with with this. I mean, I know it's hers originally, but. They got some of this stuff don't even look right for the girls. That's what I was talking about. Like, that some of this stuff is just like general. Damn it. Dude, this camera is fucking me up and making me look perfect. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we gotta check out Bob. You know, he gonna have some silly stuff. Bob is just a fat, fast motherfucker. Cause he totally needs a, a ponytail. A regular stuff, he ain't got that original form. Okay, so he gave him like a goatee instead of I mean, that's barely noticeable. That's nothing. So chances are you can probably get away with making any Honda if you can find a. Uh, like a way to take a shirt off and then like do it. What type of happy go-go time shit is this? Wait a minute, how do I... I don't see how we go up. There we go. Yo, it was a dude that on a video that kind of like tried to turn himself into a cat. Like he had like a bunch of piercings in his face and he got like a, like his teeth sharpened. Dude, this is what that face paint reminds me of. And some of y'all maybe know what I'm saying. Like, oh yeah, the nice, got the Mike Tyson tat. Right here would actually look good on some characters. Bob isn't one of them. Pass and look that right at the same time. Oh, you gotta make an outfit for Bob with this. I'm gonna outfit the, the, the orchestrated ass with him. Of course, he don't look right in the bullet club. Well, he it looks better on him because you can see the bullet club a lot more. And what's this, the original Tekken t shirt? Oh, it is the Tekken, uh, front covers from past Tekken games. There was someone else from Tekken 1, this one, this one from Tekken, what, 2? That's some good legacy stuff. Oh, yeah, the gold. See the ridiculous bottles that... So I just want to try to make Lucky Rue from One Piece. If they try to. Some of that stuff is not meant to be worn by a man of Bob's stature. But these pants right here might actually work for him. Like I said, if it was a way, you would have him like. 
um, remove his shirt, or at least try to reduce what, what he has. Um, I don't know, I feel like you'll be able to get away with something. Oh, he even got me like a, he's loose. Yo, one thing I'm hoping is, I don't, I don't remember which one, but in one of the Tekken games, I know they had it to where you could use these items in, in battle. Now, I know they normally don't take things like that out once they added them, but I'm hoping that that's what they did in this. That's probably wishful thinking. I'm pretty sure you're going to have people throwing clocks and pizzas and shit. Oh, never mind. I just see, like, they have item move commands at the bottom right where they tell you what the item is. So, never mind. I'm not going to... That's still stupid. I, I never did like that feature. That was, like, kind of childish. Well, I hope it, at least it's, it's a way for you to take that out. Like, I, I don't want to play Tekken Orange. I, I ain't trying to play Batman. Like, literally. I look, they got little fairy wings. Yo, these wings will probably actually look dope on a few characters. I know somebody gonna try to OD it on Devil Jin and try to get them like 60 damn wings. If they could. Jump for Rabbit. Still, wait a minute, didn't they have a buckle on it? Oh yeah, it's just a regular shield. Puma shield. I was surprised that the animal activist that took that got Roger taken off the game didn't complain about this. You're shielding yourself with animals. So cool. Baseball bat, strider. A grenade. I don't even want to know how the hell people are going to use that grenade. Yeah, go oh, I know. Oh, damn. You already know they're going to have people abusing the hell out of this. That's probably one of the first things people try to... Well, it's, it's a good thing they made you unlock it, but still. Like, come on, bro. I got to remove that check of shit. Check it. At the very least, have it to where it's not. Uh, I wish they would have kept Roger. If someone has helped you get life back, let's just beat the hell out of somebody with shotgun, a tuna, pussy butter. gonna be that thing where when you die like you uh kind of like float up that ninja star of course and that's what people were using now i find stand look look at this boss wait a minute is that like a lightsaber or like a lightsaber or something Kinda did themselves. I'm not gonna do this with any other character. I don't really care. I just want to see what they had available. All this stuff looks stupid to me. You really had to add this. I mean, you know, somebody gonna try to come with uh using this. You know what? I just got an idea. Because now that I've seen this combat, this, this combat knife, I'm thinking maybe they tried to uh, give you a way to like make other characters really good, or rather have the Tekken characters as other characters. So maybe somebody gonna try to make Cody and actually use the knife. <laughs> I know it's Street Fighter 4. It was at the very tail end of that game's, um... It was at the very tail end of, uh... 
that game's lifespan, that's when people started using a knife for Cody. Let's go with, let's go with Brian. And Brian. Okay, from here on out, I just want to see what their original customization options are. They gave him a bandana. No surprise. Oh, they even made him bald. Imagine Brian wearing some shit like this. <laughs> he ain't got nothing here. Yo, this actually worked for him. That actually really works for him. Too. I mean, granted, you would have to change the color of it if you can't. Now you can't change the color of it. Uh, yeah, but that would have worked for him too. He was able to change the color of it. But you can probably still change the color of this. Yes, you can. You? That's the uh, cybernetics. Oh wait, we gotta go back to the front. To the front to... Oh, you got. Wait, what's these? Are they still adding more? somebody make a super saiyan prevent your opponent from moving once you are killed oh so they can't keep hitting you and beat you up and embarrassing you Some of those are actually dope. Let me see if I can change the color of this. Yeah, you could probably get away with it if you uh change that up. Alright, so we ain't really have too much of nothing. Do a Claudio. He's one of the new guys, so I'm expecting they went they did something for him. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Shower. The opponent lands a hit. Who's a special effect? What? A monocle. Nobody else had that. Joker, pinker, paint face. Sure, kind of make him look extra, extra skinny.
Oh my goodness. Gave my darker skin tone, they gave my tan. That arm wrapped up for some reason, I don't know. Let me go back and see if these, what their portraits look like, because I, I, I never uh, seen it. That's a good one. That's uh, a little much. They really want to get it. Some of these, some of these people don't need no hands. I know why they did it okay. on the double gym. See what uh, crazy creative stuff they gave him. That's a dope. Go fair style. Somebody gonna make a Super Saiyan later on. I don't have nothing there. I don't have nothing here. Nothing there. Nobody needs corners this big. I know he kind of look like Michael Jackson is thriller right there. This is original. Oh, we didn't even have a shirt. It don't look like a boss. Pretty much stuff. Of course, we gotta take a look at the Bullet Club shirt. Don't look right. They're already tan. What the hell have you been talking about? I would just make them black. Oh, really? You gave him a full double form? Oh, Sergey. Those berets. Look at this. Don't really have any other hairstyles besides the regular stuff. Ass mask. This will look kind of dope.
Let's go, boys. Ah, uh, yeah, you could probably make Snake from Metal Gear. Wait a minute. Are, are they trying to reference um the Skullomania from Street Fighter EX? I mean, I, I, I mean, you'll never guess it from the um from this. But it looks like they're trying to reference Skullomania. Okay, now this one looks dope, but then again, it was already kind of like brownish. But yeah, they reference the Skullomania for sure. That's the original. Eddie, let's see what he looks like. Man finally returned. I got rid of Christina Montiero, Montiero and fucking Tiger. Those two fake Eddies. Look at this. Imagine Eddie back rocking one of these hairstyles. Be the funniest thing ever. So this Gozer is actually worth for him. None of this works for him at all. I was gonna skip that. James, you can see him or something like that. Yeah, some of these that are probably actually with boss on them, but. Oh, wait a minute, you wanna know what I just realized? Why does this dude look like he's wearing lingerie underneath that jacket? Yo, look, like, they actually kinda messed him up a little bit. Yeah, they probably shouldn't have made that shiny. I'm just, <laughs> just saying. Oh, man. The original Tekken outfit. His new outfit from later Tekken games. His gold jacket looks better, but still, that undershirt needs need some, uh, I don't know, check that side, but they might need to make it mate. Uh, actually looks good on him. Bullet Club. Scooter Bullet Club. How about that? Like he really need a tan. Like that, that should have been his default skin color right there. He didn't need, he didn't need anything else. Super Saiyan right there. That was back when he was a monk. That's before he killed his own master. Mustache. No 
No lie, this will probably actually uh get him. This one look kind of dope. It almost kind of looked like he's in rage mode from Samurai Showdown. It works for some characters, but not all characters need that. I guess I gotta play the, the main story to find out in the time. That kind of works for him. I can see that with him. As long as I got another outfit to match it. Other outfit for some magic. Rainbow hit is whatever though. Anything unlockable down here? Oh, it's just regular stuff. Like that. Oh, it is. I just can use any of this. Okay, for him, we just kind of can't. You can barely see him. I um, know oh, somebody gonna try to make the Incredible Hulk. I know. That's This outfit right here is kind of, kind of nice. Actually, I wouldn't get that one. I'm wondering if somebody going to try to make uh, old Timken from Guilty Gear. A lot of skill characters you can make in this game. Here on the upper body? Yeah, oh, okay.
Sorry about that. I had a honey terror up here. This kind of looks weird. I'm not gonna lie. This little iron bone thing they got going on here ain't working. At least this one does a better job of covering it up. Like just having it just solid black like that ain't ain't, ain't what it is. We got a big shell. I'm gonna play the main story. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble for it. I know some of these fighting games, they don't want you playing the main story and then showing it off. It's like, you can only do matches and that's it. <laughs> I'm just hoping that's not the case with these people. I know some, I know some of the unlockable stuff is like their original customization options. And so I just gotta be careful not to pass them up. That's the young Heihachi. Uh, kinda hoping they got like a young Heihachi face. Let's put up. I think that, uh. I think what was that dude named Tekken 6? Um. Jirobi or. Rashi? Oh, I think I can't think. Uh, yeah, I can't remember his name. See. In my life, but yeah, the, the, the grandpa, the final boss dude from uh, Tekken 6. That was his favorite. kind of mad they didn't get him like a regular like his original outfit with gold I want to say original I'm talking about the original one they made for this game I'm kind of mad they didn't make that gold costume from Tekken, what, 3? Or an alternate, or his original costume from Tekken Tag or something. I know it was one of those Tekken games, I can't remember which one. Okay, so, nothing is wrong with his eye or he's just faking it. Or he just, like, got, a, like, a temporary injury. Actually, kind of grown. Like he should have gave him the beard as a default. I guess they wanted people to recognize who he was and put it on there. But he actually looked good with a beard, right? Like at this point in his life, like this works for him. That works for his character. None of this face paint works for him. This probably does, but none of the face paint really works for him.
course, they already have this default costume, but they don't have this one. But they have his, his original uh, costume, though. At one point, he was a businessman? What's this? Tracks on top. You stole Shadow pants. But these actually look dope. Damn it. And that's a shadow pants. What a shadow shirt look like. Or shadow top. So this must I, I wanna know if that's his like his alternate costume from one of the other Tekken games. Wasn't he like hiding as like one of the members of the Tekken Force at one point? Or something like that? I don't know, I'll probably read too much into it. Ain't really got the spurs on the back of them, but the heels on there. But so your life away. Even a portrait for it, so you can make the original outfit and give them the portrait for it. Okay. Thanks, Seven. I know they had fun. I would like to think that they had fun making customizations for him. Sturdy gold. Air Force Space. Boulders. I got gold body on here. Mm -hmm. I don't know, gold body look kind of weird. Pretty sure somebody gonna get it though. find out he can do something with that hook. That, look, that, that, that hook just dangling right there. That, that, that don't look right. <laughs> it kind of look like you're just teabagging the floor. That's not really... Man, that's, that's kind of weird. These legs look cool. Though. Oh, look, he got a rocket launcher on his back. He don't... But he got something original. Everybody else got snowflakes and pizza to throw. A regular gym now. Going through every character, so just know that. Just having some fun. Customization, just trying to see what they have available for the characters. This bottom does not with that top at all. Uh, 
that don't work for him too much. I mean, not unless you change his hairstyle, like that doesn't really work for him. But, I don't know, like, if you were to give him a different hairstyle, then maybe that would work. But it don't work for him, like, that's his hair is right now. That's the devil market, so that's better. That's a costume. That's new. LP. That looked like a dude off of rival schools a little bit. Those pants need to be dark. Yeah, see, this outfit looks better than the other one. I would rather have have this one. So, and by the way, that second floor was trash. Yeah, like yeah, like second floor was trash. It was trash. I think everybody would agree with me on that. I mean, it did good introducing a couple new characters, but overall it was trash. Like, Jim was the only, only one that seemed like he had any star power in that game. Everybody else was just there. There was a resolve. Girl named after a revolutionary hero. Maybe they got it in the storyline because I know that it was a, it was a bit of a controversy with her too. So I'm assuming that they kind of made her with precautions. regular stuff okay uh, never mind. I thought it was something original monkey that's original for because nobody else got that so far nobody else has it She looks better in these. Guys, they ain't, they ain't got their costumes yet. Or rather, they skipped over them. They made these. Oh, wow. That's so anime. Kind of arena. Female who said it. They said they were gonna create to like talk while the fighting happens. Oh, 
Let me see, got some stuff right there. That's original. What else is though? If anything, she was gonna have some original glasses. And, you know, a shirt like this might have do her some justice. Just like her boobs are just like just getting pushed in your face. Like that's kind of too much. Are they trying to make Tammy? Okay. Yo, there's a lot of Street Fighter references, so that that just even further confirms that they're gonna end up doing that Street Fighter cross Tekken. I, I, I mean that um Tekken cross Street Fighter. A lot of Street Fighter references. A lot. got two of the most dangerous men in the history of fighting games with each other. Some dangerous vagina. I'm just speaking facts and y'all know it. Hairstyle, as they call it, because it's elegant. Geisha makeup. Colors are. You could probably just go to. Swimsuits are gonna be <laughs> all the rage once this game really starts kicking off. Yeah, they got everything written on it. Oh, nice. That's whatever. They got enough ass to be doing that. That's a dope one. I like that. Ain't enough booty in it, just... Turkey and a tiger? What the? Dude! Where the hell did the tiger come from? I feel like I'm gonna be asking that question a lot when it comes to this one. Like, where did the tiger come from? Somebody quote me on that. Like, June 2nd, what time is it? Let's say 9.09 Pacific time. I mentioned that I'm going to be asking the question often, where did the tiger come from? When, it's, when it comes to this. Look at this girl. Oh, these illustrations, they did a good job on the illustrations. So shout out to that guy who made them. The people that made them. They actually did a really good job on them. I actually like them. I actually like them. I actually like them. I 
far as all these customizations and I know they made Kazooie not to be about that life. That kind of works for him. That kind of works for him. Purple. Regular suit. Hat. Other one. A jacket is gay. Gay. Good jacket, but that color gotta go. So this one right here looks real good. I, so this best, uh, this costume right here looks actually pretty good. I actually like that one. Gold. I'm curious as to how does somebody go fight in this this long ass coat? Try to go from townhouse and all of a sudden like your foot get caught in a jacket. <laughs> Original originals. Pigeon mask. Funny enough, this is the scariest mask out of all of them. It literally is the scariest one. Okay, this has got to be the best one right here. When I got the king tassels tied, uh, hanging down, that's actually pretty good. You really couldn't fight seriously with half of this stuff on. You'd be too busy laughing. This right here is a reference to his old uh, mask. Super Tiger mask. I think this one right here looks better than the other one. My opinion, though. Know. That kind of don't work for him, though. Man, but why does he have a cape? I'm just not realizing that. Why does he have a cape? The king don't need a cape. So it'll be cool if they gave him like some of Armor King's um, outfit options. I know, I guess you can like kind of Jerry rig a uh, Armor King outfit out of this, but it won't be the same. That's scary. These actually look cool. <laughs> You're really gonna wrestle with all that stuff on there? Wait a minute, that's Okada stuff. Oh, I didn't even notice the uh the name. So they did a lot of Japanese uh wrestling references in this for New Japan. He got an Okada, the Rainmaker. But they only got King. Anger of. Anger of Beast. But the thing got his Rainmaker jacket. That's dope. They, they got Okada stuff on here. I mean, I watch a lot of New Japan Pro Wrestling, so I know about this stuff that y'all probably don't even know. That's the IWGP. Championship belt. 
or supposed to be. Oh. Okay, never mind. That was dope though, man. They got a pot of stuff on here. Of course they want you to pay a million dollars for that. That's that's a cool reference. Yeah, they really did that, man. Oh, they gave him one time. Okay, I'm actually kind of excited to see what else they gave. What other little wrestling... I think these costumes is getting better and better as far as the, like, the original ideas for the new costumes for like certain characters. He didn't get barely anything. I mean, because he, he don't even have like the regular stuff. You go back, oh wow. But that kind of spoils it. He barely gave him anything. Full body default. You can't even do individual defaults for him. It looked cool though, but still. And I guess because of the size, they couldn't really do too much. Well, here's he, what he had was cool, but it was kind of a letdown was, as far as like the variety goes. But then again, it's understandable. You just can't get everything with it. With certain characters. That's back when he was uh, like a member of the Tekken Force, right? His name is Lars Alexanderson. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they named him after Alexander the Great. If that lion head wouldn't be a bad idea, but you gotta earn that. Carbonated glass, second force. You can barely see that. Some of this stuff don't even make sense to put on it. You can barely see it. Yo, this looks dope. Business attire. Office of the Those look dope. Yo, that was just, uh, like the top of that matches this ass should be pretty cool. And then you get that lion head on top of it. I seem like that'll work. Yeah, like the gold top don't really match the gold bottom. I, I could probably just get like the gold bottom and not worry about the gold top. And special there. Special there. Gun. I got sliced in that. Law. Even though they changed which law was in the in which game, the name remains the same as law. You shall abide. They so get no. And in this one, like they just said, law. I'm pretty sure this is forest law. Not martial law. Like martial law was his father. This one actually works for him. That one kind of works too. But I kind of like how they gave him. They actually gave him like the Bruce Lee scratches. Like you can actually see him on his body. Like they're kind of obvious. Like they didn't hide him. Shirtless, dude. Just, all he's doing is lowering his. That's not a shirt. Whatever, man. I don't want to debate over the 
Oh yeah, they got the Kill Bill, uh, the Bruce Lee outfit, uh, track suit. Bruce Lee's original track suit. Wait a minute, was this blowing in the wind? I don't remember if I was breathing. I thought it was. It looked weird. His stash. Oh, I see, uh, his wrist. Golden Dragon. Oh, wait, we gotta walk. Don't shit up. Play your ass out. I don't, I don't like how it's, how it's wagging like a tail, though. That, that right there is kind of like a. It's kind of creepy. On front. This right here look I don't know, it kinda looks like a one piece character. Right now with him, I, this is one of the characters that I worked on. If not if the only one. I'm gonna change some stuff up on him while I'm looking while I'm showing it what, what other things they have for him. But um I didn't really give him much. I gave him some top hats and things like that. Other people don't have, but so you can make violet. Wanna get a NIST, but it wouldn't make any sense. I mean, just looks wise, it wouldn't make any sense. For whatever reason, this right here looks better than this. Yeah. That's the regular costumes. I might actually get this one. This guy's like a million, and I'm not sitting up to buy it. Use up a whole million for that. Just like that. Give him the Bullet Club shirt, because he got to get in the Bullet Club. He is the Bullet Club. Them legs are dangerous. We kind of look like Okada in, in that. Definitely don't work for him. Isla. Really taking a selfie like that? You know, he's playing boy, but he got some, some mannerisms that are questionable. Even though he's my uh You know, even though like he's my main character, like still like he's... Well, you might be able to get away with making Strider, I guess. I don't know why the hell Leo got these, uh... So is the other one out as long? Oh, yeah, it goes down longer. There's another one I gotta learn how to get my groove back. But... Well, that settles it. It's a dude. Like, why would they give a woman a goatee? We all can stop complaining about that. We are the dude. But not everyone got that nonsense out of the way. 
Musketeer Dragon. Yo, that Musketeer Dragon kind of look dope. Red balls look good. abilities, I don't know why I want to know. Nice. Like, I would actually buy these pants. Look kind of dapper. No. Man, this one looks like a dodo. The dude or is it the damn girl? Dude, like they just love fucking with you with this androgynous crap. So what's a female just come right out with it and say that you're a female? I don't know what's the fun with having anything androgynous. That's like saying I was trying to suck you into being gay. Can't no real connection be made with a character that's androgynous. Not a fighting game fan, you wouldn't understand. Uh, nothing, nothing. Just poor face paint. You can't tell with that hairstyle. Dance is always weird. And I get it, but it was just. It's weird. And you see how weird it is when you try to look at the outfit and kind of like everything's covered up. You can't really get a good look at everything. That's a little double top. That's a revolution. Characters are just like a field day when it comes to customization. Yeah, see, that don't even look right on her. I was that outfit, eh? I don't know, you can probably get away with giving her like a little bit of cute face paint. Like a center character to do something like that. I actually played with her a little bit too. Like she actually break dances. I'm not talking about the Capoeira style that um uh that Eddie. Uh like hers is actual break dancing, which was derived from Capoeira. I guess you could say that Eddie's fighting style is like a prequel to breakdancing. 
or that's actually a vulgar term to break it. That's a dope costume for her. So is it just me or, or is it like a couple of these outfits have like a Final Fantasy pod? I don't know, I guess it's kind of... I'm not thinking about that. For, like, some of these outfits just, just like kind of have like a Final Fantasy vibe to them. That's regular. Didn't give her anything special. Yeah. Cat tail, tail. No tail. Hey, what's this? Okay. Oh, Lucky Chloe, okay, I, I, for whatever reason, I thought the thing said, like, Lucky and Chill or something. Kind of look like that from a distance. Another character who can't benefit from dark skin. That's a cute one. That's a smexy one. I want to know what was the purpose of, of them having to make, well, they didn't make Raven a female. Because Raven was the dude, this is Master Raven. So I'm assuming that this is Raven Sensei. Who this is Raven Sensei. Um, oh, that little headpiece turns green, okay. That's kind of hard to see that. Yeah, not one of these hairstyles work. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. That's a stretch. Maybe this one works a little bit too, but not. Uh, wearing some glasses wouldn't be a bad idea. Like, like no lie, looks like she's like a sexy librarian. This face paint can go. Wait a minute. This right here could actually work for. Her. This face paint right here can actually work for. Her. I can see that working. In this game, like they got some subtle Street Fighter references in there. They got some, some subtle Final Fantasy references in there. The only reason why I'm saying subtle because I know not all people are going to be able to catch them. They're not fans of those games. These right here wouldn't be a bad idea for her to wear. Probably might actually look good. Yeah, of course, people won't get their, their outfit. The fight in head is hilarious. I guess the only reason why they did it because they didn't want people to feel like the black people were getting left out. I'm going to just leave it at that. Miguel. They can engage him. Okay. So some glasses might actually work for him. Got a, got a glasses thing can work for him. Like he can use some glasses. They really gotta be like some classic, like like I'm living a bachelor light type shade. Like that's kind of giving off that vibe. But a face paint for him is whatever. 
only work. Uh, the gold jacket is also kind of like that. That works. That works. That's a nice jacket. I, can, I like that one too. I know for some of this stuff, like you got to play this thing called Treasure Battle, which I'm hoping, which are probably just like regular fights where you just unlocking a bunch of money and stuff. Rare costumes. I really want to know what's the story behind her. I'm pretty sure they don't have her in this torn up wedding dress for nothing. I'm pretty sure she wasn't in some deep mission where she had to get married. I'm feeling kind of curious to know why she's in a wedding dress. Like, was she actually getting married or was she in like an undercover mission? I mean, I think it's the later, but the latter, but. Deal. Original costume right there. Sorry, I had to do it. I had to do it. It was calling for it. It was calling for it. So, I'm some of the pandas case is just like Pumas. Bamboo grass. Of course, pandas like they bamboo. We just airbrush the fuck out of this. <laughs> Damn, how come they let you get? Come on, I know they got an out. Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, but but they ain't got one without the the hat and the or whatever. I don't know. I guess they really tried to establish the fact that Panda was a female instead of like a dude. They had to give her some feel. That's original. As if it wasn't high enough. Don't the tall Paul. So if the high top wasn't high enough, there you go. Oh, a ninja at one point. This mustache right here. Oh, my head of my, he don't need this. I don't know, he almost looks like Burt Reynolds. Having some rude. Oh, it's the side eye attack can work for him. I can work for him. Yeah, a couple of those can actually work for him. When they know when they announced that they were gonna do the uh the attack across Street Fighter, I was saying all they gotta do is just like redo the Paul's uh default costume or his original costume in past second games to get the outfit. That's exactly what exactly what they did.
Shaheen. I'm gonna take it off. Yeah. Oh, yo, this is dope. I think gold works so much for some of these characters. So we got a little fade. They gave him a little fade. That works. That's whatever. That's in there. Hey, they go to Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia got it written all over. is uh the sword we'll find out when we get there how to do his mask but then again they got that This one would actually be cool to use. I would probably get these for speed box. I'd probably get them. No, not the regular ones. You gotta get the big gloves, man. You gotta get the big ones. I wonder why they gave gold versions of like only certain ones. Because for some of them, it's the Tekken 7 default costume, but for other ones, it's like Tekken 6. They got the orange gloves in a portrait. It's hard to Jenny for doing that. I'm pretty sure they knew somebody was gonna get the orange gloves. Ling Shao Yu. Oh, Lil Ling Ling. Oh, Lil Ling Ling.
head is and all that. Pretty sure that's for all the females. Okay, now this is original. You did have a thing for pandas. We had a friendship or something else. I'm not judging, I'm just saying. But well, fucking, I am judging. He's doing anything with pandas, I'm judging like a motherfucker. I'm gonna bang the gavel and give her a sentence. Close the gate and she ain't never gonna know. The original outfit right there? What's the original top? Bikinis, bikinis, bikinis. I don't really care about that. Oh, wait, hold on. Was that another? Oh, right here. Kind of work. Her default shorts. Didn't really work on the short part too much. They just focus on the shoes. That kind of sucks. Volleyball shorts. I'm sure it's not a reference to anything, but still. This dude looks weird. This dude like a like a tentacle porn waiting to happen. Why they would make him like this? I, I don't know. He don't look bad. He just looked weird. That outfit look look dope. Here's the one thing about Yoshimitsu that I like. They, they always give him a new look every game. Now he's supposed to be like some type of alien, wasn't he? What a weird shark head. Oh great, because out of all out of all of the ways he looked. Like the, the, like the shark head is weird, but not this. That's not weird, but the shark head is weird. Is that the standard are we going? And one of these might actually work for him because he just got like a plain face. Like his face is actually just really just a canvas you to go to have fun with. say I know he had one outfit where it was gonna have like multiple arms because I seen that um that multi head uh 
Kazani head. Okay, that one looked dope. I like that. That gold body is a one. Now, if you was able to get this in gold, I don't know, I guess you could just change it, but still. They have some outfits that just look better with gold, with a gold glimmer. That's a shark body. So great because, you know, it's not like he's... Yeah. That shit looked like it hurt. Colt blade. So just because I got dice on it, it's a Colt doing no, never mind. Probably a reference to something I don't know about. Kendo sticks. Or... Ishin Shinai. Have some paper parcel. Bamboo sapling. Go ask for some bamboo. To recall us, so let's. He don't even look like this. I don't have no outfit that look like that. Nor did you have an outfit that look like that. I just didn't see it. Oh, you gotta unlock it. Wait, does he have an outfit? Let me go back and check for the sake of the video. Because he got an outfit that look like that. That's. Unless they're considering that to be something else. But I didn't see anything that resembled that at all. Yeah, he doesn't have anything there for that. Yeah, I don't know where. The last two, we got Akuma. Funny thing is, I played with Akuma, and his fighting style actually works for this game. It's like, it's his regular move set for Street Fighter 4. Like, everything that he had in Street Fighter 4, he has in this. And you know, some like the Tekken characters they have what's called rage drives, but he doesn't have a rage drive, he has a super combo. And of course, he's still got a rage arc just like everybody else, but still, like they made they did a they brought a Street Fighter character into the Tekken universe in every sense of, of, of the way. This works for him. Isn't that, um, his brother top? Where is this one man? Get the hell out of I'm pretty sure some weirdo gonna wear you know, oh, get that costume. Was he the only one that didn't get a tan? Oh, like he didn't get a tan, he got this. He got this weird shit. I mean, I know what that comes from, but still, like that, it looks weird considering that I wasn't around it. I'm not gonna knock it though. I understand that somebody hears it. I'm not culturally insensitive. And then we have Eliza. Stupid Eliza. 
but they were desperate. You know what? I think I think when they started making her, they made plans to try to bring Street Fighter characters in the Tekken. Like they, they just decided, like they decided to make a character that can shoot projectiles, like fireballs. I'm not talking about like no beam. I'm talking about like actual like fireballs. She was a guinea pig for what they were trying to get with Akuma. And just to test the, the field of projectiles in the second game. None of these really work for us. He's hot. Oh, hey. This one looked dope. I actually like this one. Hopefully the pants look like. Whatever you get, I guess so. I guess, I guess the phantom cape is whatever you want to wear with it. Let's take a look at the jukebox. Second Revolution, man. First, they got all the Tekken, the past Tekken games. Gallery. Purchase 160 items. I wonder if these are like just packages from like, oh, movies and artworks. That's what this is. Tekken 3, Tekken 2, and 1. Oh, yeah. Of course, they don't have Tekken Revolution in this motherfucker. Obviously. I mean, that's if you care about it. So that was all uh, the kind of the character customization. I just kind of, I just wanted to cruise through it, you know, get a, a a feel of what they were doing with the character customization. Some cool stuff in there. Um. You know, but that's something I may explore later on down the line once I do the, do the like the like the little treasure battle thing. Hope you guys enjoyed it.